In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how the Mavic 2 waypoints works, so stay tuned. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dennis here, back with another video. For those of you who are new here, my channel is all about drone, product reviews, and tutorial videos. So if that's something that you're interested in, do remember to subscribe to my channel, turn on that notification button so that you don't miss out on any of my new videos every week. Just a little bit of a background, when the Mavic 2 was first released, the Waypoints feature wasn't available and DJI has mentioned time and time again that they will be introducing that as a as part of an update. So uh, I've just received notification like two, three days ago that there's a new DJI Go Up update along with the firmware, which uh, DJI has introduced the new version called Waypoint 2.0. I think that's what, how they call it. Anyways, it's a newer version and um, I'm, I've just finished downloading and updating, you know, the DJI go up and you know transferring the uh, updates into my controller and, and to the three batteries it took me a while uh, but it's up and running now and so before I head out and test this out I just want to say in what I've been waiting for this waypoint to happen it's something that should be a standard feature when you release a drone nowadays it took them a couple months just to release this feature so I'm so excited to really test this out interesting that they actually released the waypoints now because I was actually thinking of buying uh, another waypoint app called Leechy if you don't know what it is I'll drop the link down below you can have a look but Leechy is kind of like waypoints you know when before DJI actually introduced this waypoint 2.0 so I actually played around with Leechy it look, works fine it's incredible you know you can pretty much use the real estate of your screen to create waypoints by touching you know all the stuff in there anyway cool other stuff in there I'm not going to talk too much about it but uh, it's not free though it's going to cost you about 30 Australian dollars here I'm not sure how much it is uh, elsewhere uh, one thing that stopped me from buying the Leechy app was if I use the Leechy app uh, and then suddenly, you know, something went wrong and suddenly my my Vic 2 crashed, then I believe, I have to double check or triple check on this one, DJI won't be able to replace my drone or, you know, because it's, it's using a third party app rather than the DJI Go Up, you know, something like that. Just quick note, Leechy works well with other drones as well, so uh, do check it out. All right, anyway, let me go outside, shoot something and I'll come back, okay? So I'm back here now, so I'm just looking at the footage, so just want to quickly talk about how the waypoints work. So just when you're on that remote control icon on the left, once you click on that one, there should be a waypoints icon now. Once you enter waypoints, there's going to be a tutorial that's available for you, as you can see here. Pretty straightforward. I tend to skip that and play around with it myself. So you see the map in here, and you can use your fingers to actually plot where you want to go. It kind of resembles the Lychee app, which is good because Lychee works, and I feel that DJI is using that a baseline and kind of emulated some of the aspects of Leechy and you know put a DJI spin on it so so you can put as many uh, waypoints you want obviously subject to your battery life you can change the height you know you can change the altitude altitude you can change the speed you can change the flight direction from route to you know custom direction if you want to get the drone flying backwards while we're looking forward that's fine uh, you can change the gimbal pitch you can add set camera actions you know taking photos uh, start recording or stop recording you can even put in a points of interest unfortunately I didn't have the time to actually play around with the points of interest but you can actually attach that in you know I was a little bit clumsy because you know again I got a small screen real estate in here so sometimes I accidentally put too many waypoints or they're very close anyway I probably need to practice uh, this a little bit more once I set up my mission you know I hit go and then the Mavic 2 just flies up in the air and follows that flight flight path that I put in you know when it goes up to depending on the altitude I put in it follows that height and when it goes down again it's descends on that height as well uh, the one thing I just stuffed up was the camera gimbal because I didn't change the pitch you know I was trying to play around with it but I may have another sort of uh, waypoint video here that I've done on the third one where I changed the uh, pitch so finally there is a delete button here but once you hit delete it's going to delete everything so to manually delete them you need to specifically press a waypoint and then 
you know, hit the delete button on that one so you can delete it by itself rather than deleting the whole lot. Yeah, there's a couple more options in there. You can change the cruising speed, the speed of, you know, how fast or how slow the Mavic's gonna fly. Also, uh, after each mission, it's gonna uh, go return home. So you can even cancel that if you want. Once you set up the flight pattern, you, you can't actually change the the gimbal or where your movements. Even I tried playing around with it, it's actually sticking to the flight plan. It's not actually changing the gimbal. There's not, you know, there's not gonna be any issues if you if you accidentally press, you know, some of your joysticks into it. It's not gonna change the flight pad or anything. But in some way, you need to be specific on how you actually. Uh, do the missions and you know make sure that you're moving at this angle your camera gimbals this angle so that everything's you know uh, everything's going according to plan so once you hit that start button it's hard to change back it's yeah you just better off redoing the whole lot this is just a taste of how it looks like how the look and feel of the waypoints I feel like I'm gonna be playing around with this a little bit more in the next couple of weeks to fully immerse myself and really use this to my advantage especially when I'm planning my flight missions or or planning to shoot a particular points of interest at this location so yeah can't wait to test this out like I said unfortunately I didn't really had a chance to play around with it a little bit more I will in the next couple of days and yeah I'm just so excited I'm pretty happy so far with what DJI has created thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed uh, this quick video on how the waypoints 2.0 look like and if you enjoyed this video give it a like really appreciate it and subscribe to my channel for more videos oh by the way, do follow me on my other social media accounts, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and more for news, updates, and exclusive content. Well, that's about it. This is Dennis. Fly safe, keep creating, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.